because the first thing that people say is, where do these sounds come from? Uh, who, where would they think of these sounds? Well, of course, the, the, the teacher, it's the devil at the fin, it's the, the voice of the land. We've always said that it's the voice of Tangaroa, it's the voice of uh, Tane, uh, it's the voice of uh, Ininui. Uh, the poor, it's, it's in fact all and it's a multitude of voices that are there and, and of course they're, they're the carriers of those voices, the manu, the insects, the tangatane and so on. So, so in fact your ears are attuned to that, replicate, replicate uh, those sounds. He kaiako a Richard Itiwana na puro, a e kahana ia ki te whakaako i nga kōrero mō e nei taonga, a me pēhea hoki te whakatangi. The other great teacher is, is as I've intimated, the song forms, the, how, the, how the old people sing, sing, and trying to match and replicate those, and these instruments are perfect for that because they're an open hold system. And then, and then it comes back to the whole other symbolism of the breathing of of uh, the breath and the heartbeat. And and that's one's up and one's down, I can't tell you who's who, but in fact... the initial in one, Brian and my own point of view, it's it's been utterly fascinating to watch the way in which they have been grabbed back and, and placed into into the music of this, this land and this country, right from traditional reinvigoration, so you're hearing them on Marae, you're hearing them in Wakataua, you're hearing them in, in a whole host of situations, uh, refinding their usages and new tikanga kawa being, being built on the old and reinvigoration, a bit like the, the tradition of Tamoko. And then, of course, it's much, much wider than that because I would think any perceptive listener listening to or watch, listening or watching radio or TV are hearing them six, seven times a week. Sometimes they may not know it, but they're there, so they're back. They've become, as I mentioned before, an iconic voice of this country that the sounds could come from nowhere else. But they definitely are arriving in, in dance, trance, electronica. They're, they're uh, involving themselves in uh, classical chamber music, orchestral music. There are composers in New Zealand, many or some of whom with Māori whakapapa, who are writing and, and building these instruments into um, Western uh, ensembles and formats. <laughs> Te toru toru rawa o ngā tānga te matatauana ki e nei mumo āhuatanga. Uh, te mutunga me, me mātua whakaemi e mātau e tātou ngā kōrero nei kai tānga mānga, mānga uri kai te whakaheke tonu mai. Ne? Uh, nā rea ngā o te te ao kai te heke mai. Mā tēnā, mā tēnā, ni me ana a te pūkenga, a ana ki te kōrero, e, e tuku mai aua mā tauranga a, ki a hui hui a ki rotu i te, e ki te, te hue a, kotahi, te ki te kotahi rānei, hei toha atu ki te ao a tōna wā. Mahitahi hoki a Richard i te taha te New Zealand String Quartet a nei i te wai ata pūhake ki te rangi no ngā koe iwi tini a tangaroa katoa e nei taonga. Basically it's a very meditative flowing piece that really doesn't look at the wholesale slaughter of and hunting of whales that it actually celebrates there song, their song forms, their sociability, their playfulness, their many aspects of, of the whale. So it's, it's, a, it's a piece in honour of, of uh, the maintenance and continuance of the wonderful species that uh, we have around our shores and, uh, and also um, a celebration of the voices of this tonga that are uh, so beautifully and lovingly created from uh, their remains so that they um, have a voice again, they sing again.
I te taha tonu o heri ni Melvin Henry nā kōpa e kua o ti ya Richard. I runga i tana haerenga pēnei i te kū te whē. Tū hono hono me te kōpa e hau nei a te hekinga ārangi. I do think it is, it is a voice that, that needs to be heard at, 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 at uh, occasions that will obviously involve, involve Māori, but, but increasingly bicultural occasions where national parks and, and sanctuaries are being opened and blessings taking place. These are natural voices there. Um, that they, a pool of players is readily available that can do the, do the business and do the job that they are not regarded as unusual and, and exceptional, that they are a natural voice of this, this land and this country, that, that there is a sufficient uh, pool of, of people who, um, who can be called on readily to perform those tasks and sounds, that uh, um, I want to see more women players. We, we have a, a not inconsiderable list of great women players and there's no question the knowledge that we carry is largely the, the kōrero of Nakuya. I nāinei kua huri ia ki nā mahi pūoro hau, a kāti he hono hono i nā taonga pūoro Māori me nā taonga pūoro taketake o e tahi atu whenua. voices having gone to sleep for so long are back with us in whatever manifestation and form they take so long as it's done with care and thought and uh, um, and then I suppose the ultimate dream is that they they, they, they begin to sing uh, with the, the beauty that uh, they are so capable of.